When people saw this man walking his pack of six German shepherds without leashes, they were left in awe at the blind obedience the dogs were displaying. Some of them even thought that the man was mistreating the dogs into submission. But when they finally discovered his secret, they were both shocked and amazed. The first time Augusto de Oliveira was spotted on the bustling streets of Hyannis, Massachusetts, he left onlookers in awe. A young man in his early 20s, leading a tightly knit pack of German shepherds, was an extraordinary sight. Right from the start, it was evident that these dogs functioned as a synchronized unit, showcasing an exceptional level of unity and discipline. At the heart of it all stood Augusto, their proud owner, undeniably revered as the pack's leader. The combination of raw power and unwavering submission was nothing short of mind-boggling, captivating the attention of many passers-by, who were left with more questions than answers. The more they attempted to unravel Augusto's methods, the more enigmatic the situation became. While plenty of people had their own canine companions, none had managed to train them to the extent that Augusto had with his German shepherds. Even seasoned dog trainers and animal experts found it baffling how these dogs moved in such seamless harmony under these unconventional circumstances. And for those bold enough to approach the pack, they uncovered something truly extraordinary. Not a single German Shepherd wore a leash, yet they moved as though connected by an invisible harness, each one falling effortlessly into formation at Augusto's command. Their discipline rivaled that of a military platoon. There were no skirmishes for dominance, and they paid no heed to other dogs passing by. Their focus was unwaveringly on their pack and their leader. As Augusto and his dogs embarked on their daily walks around Hyannis, people couldn't help but stare in amazement. Some were so impressed that they often requested a photo with the extraordinary ensemble. With a single word, Augusto could bring them to a sudden halt, posing for the perfect snapshot. Once the fans were content, a whistle would signal the dogs back into formation, each resuming their specific position behind him. In no time, this young man and his pack became the talk of the town, with hushed whispers hinting at something more sinister. A few neighbors and curious onlookers couldn't help but cast a suspicious eye on this man, who seemed to only socialize with his dogs. Augusto's demeanor was reserved, and few ever visited his home. In the evenings, self-appointed sleuths would linger outside his apartment, hoping for a clue that might explain his uncanny ability to command such fierce dogs. Some even went as far as rummaging through his trash cans in search of evidence. One particularly nosy neighbor, a woman dedicated to rescuing strays, was convinced Augusto employed electric shock collars to enforce obedience. She rallied the neighborhood, petitioning the authorities to investigate this supposed abusive owner. Augusto might have quelled these doubts if he had openly shared his training methods. However, he remained tight-lipped whenever questioned, inadvertently fueling suspicions. At most, he revealed that it had taken years of dedication and patience to refine his techniques to the point where he could walk his dogs without leashes. This much was common knowledge, as he had devoted his life to becoming an expert dog trainer. Raised among German shepherds, known for their bravery and loyalty, Augusto had a unique affinity for them. It was clear they would protect him with their lives, but this unwavering loyalty eventually led to a police investigation based on allegations of animal abuse. In some minds, the dog's obedience went beyond mere respect for Augusto. Their owner must have resorted to dark methods to enforce such unwavering compliance. If only the nosy neighbors and uninformed citizens had taken the time to learn, this invasion of privacy could have been avoided. Augusto, though settled in Massachusetts, had grown up in Brazil, surrounded by German shepherds. Even as a boy, he displayed an uncanny knack for understanding animal behavior. When the police entered his apartment, they were met with a scene that defied convention. Griffin, Harmony, Jenna, Priscilla, 
Hannah and Savannah shared their lives with Augusto, eschewing kennels for shared spaces. No couch or carpet was off-limits, illustrating the extent of their bond. This was a man who truly lived and breathed dogs. Puzzled, the police enlisted the help of animal experts, who observed Augusto closely for days. They scrutinized his every move and combed through his apartment. After their investigation, they had their answer. The good news was that there was no evidence of neglect or abuse. On the contrary, these dogs were living in a canine paradise, receiving the finest care and nutrition. Augusto loved them like family. Though angered at the thought of being misconstrued, Augusto found a silver lining in this peculiar situation. Shortly after the investigation, he transformed his passion into a thriving business. Griffin Shepherd Kennels emerged, a place where Augusto channeled his energy into training dogs to be disciplined and obedient. Owners sent their puppies to him, and within weeks, they returned with a new level of manners, adaptable to any environment. While he trained all breeds, German Shepherds were his specialty. Augusto guarded his training techniques closely, but he emphasized the importance of spending time to establish a deep connection with the dogs. Augusto's hands-on approach, from feeding them to allowing them to sleep beside him, reinforced his leadership. When dogs recognize their owner as the pack leader, unity and discipline naturally follow. Augusto not only guided his six German shepherds through the streets of Hyannis, but he claimed to lead up to 15 dogs without incident. Even in the bustling streets of Boston, his dogs maintained their discipline. Augusto's methods earned him a remarkable reputation, catapulting him to internet stardom since 2013 when a video of his feats went viral. Have you ever encountered unleashed German shepherds on a busy street? What are your thoughts on Augusto's training techniques? Share your experiences in the comments below. And until next time.